Welcome back to the Meditation Corner. Today we're going to talk about the only thing you need to know how to meditate. That skill is called turning the mind. And I made a little image for you to have uh, to guide you through what we're going to talk about in the next couple of minutes. Um, this is a, a bit of an homage to the movie Up, uh, if you've ever seen that movie. It's kind of funny, but very appropriate for what we're going to talk about. So the skill turning the mind is really all about this image. It's about switching back from a distraction to your anchor. So what is an anchor? An anchor is home in meditation. It is the thing that you are focusing your attention on. It is the thing that you always return back to. That is the goal to come back to your anchor. So what is an anchor? An anchor can be anything you choose. And this is what I love about meditation. It really is so unique and so specific to what your needs are. So if you love focusing on your breath, and there will be another video on how to do that. If you love, um, a mantra. Maybe you go to yoga or you've worked with uh, a spiritual mentor who has uh, provided you with a mantra that works. There's also general ones like so hum, which is actually going to be the next video. So make sure you tune in for that. Um, it can be a physical sensation, the sensation of your feet on the ground. It can actually be the meditation itself can be a um, process by which you uh, visit different points in the body to keep you grounded, um, or it can be a sound, whatever it is, you need to be specific. You need to be very specific about what you want your anchor to be because you can't be floundering coming back to an anchor and trying to decide what that was. You want to be really specific and identify it before you actually start. From there, what is a distraction? A distraction is um, going to happen naturally. You don't have to worry about that. The mind is constantly analyzing our internal and our external state to determine if we're safe. It's a very natural process. However, that's not where we want our mind to be during our meditation. We want our mind to consistently be coming back to the anchor. So when the distraction occurs, which is natural and it will, you want to redirect it back to the anchor that you have previously identified very specifically. So let's say that we choose the anchor to be um, our breath. I'm focusing on my breath. I start my meditation. I'm sitting comfortably or laying or whatever works for me. And all of a sudden I notice squirrel. I'm thinking about, did I leave the oven on? Did I lock the door? Uh, what about that school project, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe a work deadline, doesn't really matter. Um, maybe a physical sensation, actually. It's very common. And you say, oh, that's a distraction. I've committed myself to turning my mind back to my anchor, which I've identified for today as my breath. So you come back and you focus on your breath and you focus on your breath and you focus on your breath and maybe you actually get a solid five breaths in before... There you are again, distraction, squirrel. And maybe you actually feed into the story of the squirrel. And maybe a minute passes and then you think, oh my goodness, I got swept away by the story that was not my anchor, right? That was a distraction. So then you bring your attention back to your anchor and this is turning the mind, turning your mind back to the point of focus that you've chosen. So this is really... Um, the only skill that you need to be able to meditate. That's it. It is the movement from the anchor to the squirrel, to the anchor to the squirrel, to the anchor to the squirrel, and always coming back to the anchor that is the equivalent of a bicep curl at the gym when you're trying to grow and strengthen that muscle group. This is the muscle of focus, the muscle of attention. And this is the exercise that will help you to gain that strength in order to gain um, more mental clarity, greater productivity, more creativity, um, and greater peace of mind that um, certainly comes from the decrease in anxiety from being able to attend to your thoughts and being able to redirect to a specific and more productive and effective uh, thought process. Thank you very much. If you want to learn more, please come back. Uh, I will be posting a meditation soon on mantras and uh, anchors, so you will be able to practice that soon.